Within this lesson, our objective is to divide two and three digit dividends by two digit divisors with single digit quotients. Here we have 243 divided by 52. Thinking about 52, 52 is close to 50. And then so um, if 243 had been like 200, we could have had 200 divided by 50, which equals 4. And then that's our estimated quotient there. This estimate can help us solve using that standard algorithm where we have 243 and we are dividing it by 52. 52 cannot divide up those 200s, nor can it divide up the 24 tens, but it can divide the 243 ones. It goes in with our estimate, we have 4 there, 4 whole times. Let's try that. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 5 is 20, and then so we have 208 there. Subtracting that, 13 minus 8 is 5, and 3 minus 0 is 3, so our remainder is 35. And we would not be able to divide that any further, and then so we can't make another group of 52, that is. So our, that should be our answer. Now we run our check. Take our divisor, which was 52, multiply it by 4, which was our answer. 4 times 5 is 20. 208, add back in the remainder. 8 plus 5 is 13. 3, regroup the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 3 is 4, and that's 2. And so it does check. So 243 divided by 52 is equal to 4 with a remainder of 35. Here I have 313 divided by 43. Again, if we think about our estimate, just to be able to think about an estimated quotient, 43 is close to 40. And then if we had been dividing 320 divided by 40, that would be too high of an estimate. If we think about 280 divided by 40, which equals 7, that seems like a better estimate here to help us with our solution. So when we solve this, we're taking 313 and we are dividing by 43. Let's try using that estimate there. I'm going to show you 8. If we had chosen 8, and let's see what would have happened. 8 times 3 is 24. 4 regroup the 2. 8 times 4 is 32. Plus 2 is 34. Uh-oh, 344. That means 8 is too much and too high. So what we would have to do is that we would have to go from 8 to 7. And then so instead of 344, we'd have 7 times 3 is 21. 1, regroup the 2. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 is 30. So 313 minus 301 is equal to 12. So it'd be 7 with a remainder of 12. Typically I'd erase, but for some reason the eraser wasn't working. Then I run my check. Take my divisor, which was 43. Multiply it by my answer, which was 7. 7 times 3 is 21. 1 regroup the 2. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 is 30. And then add back in the remainder. 313. So our solution is valid, where it is that we had 7 with a remainder of 12. Okay, your turn to try. Go ahead and solve and check. How many whole times did you choose? Did you choose 8? 739 minus 728 would be 11. 
so our remainder would be 11. Here's our check. Take our divisor, which was 91, multiply it by our answer there, which was 8. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 9 is 72. 728. Add back in our remainder, which was 11. So we get 739, and that does check. Look over your work. Here's one more for you to try. We have 461 divided by 53. Fifty three is close to fifty. It would have been nice if this had been four hundred fifty. Four hundred fifty divided by fifty is nine. Let's try nine. Nine times three is twenty seven. Seven, regroup the two. Nine times five is forty five. Plus two is forty seven. Uh oh. That didn't quite work. Can set it up again. Cause that was too high. Let's try 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 4, regroup the 2. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 2 is 42. And do a little regroup work to be able to get my remainder there. 8 remainder 37. Here is the check. We take our divisor, which was 53, multiply it back by our answer, which was 8. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 2 is 42, and then we add back in our remainder, which was 37. 7 plus 4 is 11, 1, regroup the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, and then we have a 4 there, 461, which matches. So our answer is 8 with a remainder of 37. Let me show you one last problem. I have 613 divided by 72. 613 is the holes, and that's the whole part. It's also called our dividend. 72 is our divisor. Thinking of our divisor, which is 72, that's close to 70. And so it would have been nice if it would have been like 7 times 8 is 56. So 560 divided by 70 would be 8. And then we also have... Um, 630 divided by 70 being 9. So it looks like we should be choosing 8. Let's try. 613 divided by 72. 72 cannot go into 6, cannot go into 61, but it can go into 613. Let's try 8. 8 times 72. 8 times 2 is 16. 6 regroup the 1. 8 times 7 is 56 plus 1 is 57. Let's subtract that. Let's see. And it looks like we get our remainder, which is 37. 37 is less than 72. In other words, I cannot make another group of 72. So that is our remainder. 8 with a remainder of 37. Here is our check. We take our divisor, which was 72, Multiply it by our answer, which was 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 6 regroup the 1. 8 times 7 is 56, plus 1 is 57. And then we'll add back in our remainder. And so that checks. So that 613 divided by 72 does equal 8 with a remainder of 37. And you'll notice that this was our quotient. And as we stated within our objective earlier, we are working with single-digit quotients.